Prop King recommends that the NFT nutrient reservoir be exchanged at least every two weeks. This helps to ensure that the ratios of nutrients in the reservoir are maintained at ideal levels and don't become antagonistic with each other. In this video, we will demonstrate the steps needed to properly exchange the nutrient reservoir. The first step in exchanging the nutrient solution is to shut off the valve to the automatic makeup water float to the reservoir tank. This way, the tank doesn't start to refill before the reservoir is pumped down. With the pump running, open the drain valve on the pump stand. The water in the nutrient reservoir will begin to drain to the location the grower has plumbed it to. Stay in the general area of the pump while draining the reservoir. We do not want the pump to run dry for an extended period of time, as the pump can become damaged when run with no water. Once the tank is mostly emptied and the pump is no longer moving water from the tank, close the drain valve and switch the power switch to off to turn off the pump. Open the valve to the automatic makeup float to the reservoir tank so that the tank can begin to refill with fresh water. Pull the supply hose out of the reservoir, remove the red basket filter from the end, and remove any large debris from the filter. Place the basket filter back on the end of the supply hose and place back into the reservoir. Remove the bell housing from the filter on the pump stand. Remove the mesh filter from the filter housing and replace with a clean mesh filter and place the bell housing back onto the filter. Check the water level in the reservoir. If it is at least half full, you can get water flowing through the system again by priming the pump. To prime the pump, close the header valves that supply the NFT channels. Open the bypass valve approximately halfway. Never prime or run the pump without the bypass valve partially opened. Make sure the valves on the supply and discharge side of the main pump are open fully. Close the valves on the supply and discharge side of the backup pump. Slowly open the one inch priming valve. When you have a steady flow of water coming out of the bypass valve, Start the pump by moving the switch to main. You should hear the pump start a larger flow of water through the bypass. This can take longer than you might think. Open the bypass fully and close the one inch priming valve. Confirm that you have full water flow into the tank from the bypass. If not, stop the pump and restart the priming process. Never run a pump dry or not correctly prime. This will quickly damage the pump. With the pump running and water flowing through the system, you will be able to close the bypass valve approximately halfway to increase the flow to the nutrient channels. Once the pump is correctly primed, you can open each of the header valves that supply the NFT channels. By closing the bypass valve, you can regulate the flow to the system Depending on the source water, it may be required to manually adjust the pH to get to the target pH in a timely manner. Using a measuring cup, add 4 ounces of your prepared pH adjustment concentrate directly into the reservoir as far from the inlet hose as possible. Wait at least 10 minutes and see if the pH reading on the first roller is around 6.5. If not, repeat the procedure until the pH is around 6.5. If there is any part of these steps that you do not understand, stop and seek clarification. Adding too much acid will crash the pH and ruin your crop in the matter of minutes. Exchanging the nutrient reservoir at least every two weeks will help ensure plants in the NFT system are receiving proper nutrition and properly priming the pump will ensure the system operates as expected for many years to come. 